Hi everyone, this is Tim from Midwest Hunting and Outdoors. Uh, today's episode is going to be about setting up some bee houses, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Hi everyone, this is Tim from Midwest Hunting Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to be setting up some bee houses and you guys have probably all seen these in the store. My wife's been getting them periodically and we now have two types of bee houses and uh, these are all supposed to be for uh, basically non-stinging bees. I guess there's, there's just tons of different varieties of bees out here so I'm anxious to try these out, but, but basically what you do is, is you put these out near your garden or near the woods, and these bees find these these holes, different type, different hole, different size of holes attracts different types of bees, and what they'll do is they'll build these nests in here, lay all their their eggs, and then what you do is you take them down from wherever you hung them up, put them in like an outdoor building, uh, certainly don't bring them into your house. But what you do is you uh, put them in this outdoor building or shed, etc., to where it's still cool out, temperature, but it's protected from the elements. And then what you do is, is you put these back out in the spring, and then they'll hatch, and you'll see them hatch, and they'll, they'll use this again. So this is all new to me. I don't claim to be an expert, but I'm anxious to give these a try. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to hang these out uh, the beginning of the year and then the next time uh, on next time on this video what I'll do is I'll uh, we'll take these down and we'll see see how they performed so stay tuned one of the requirements for this for putting up one of these bee houses is to put it up in a place to where it's protected and it has Sun so I found this place it's up off my log road so we're gonna try this and see if uh, this will work again this is my first time we'll see but I'm close to a flower supply. It's protected a little bit from the elements and we get some morning sun. So let's, let's give it a seat. down in the south part of my feet of my property and what you can see is is I call this blackberry hill and you see why these are all blackberries all in full bloom so tons of flowers tons of opportunities for bees I'm also super close to our CP 42 field which is a which is a natural grass or native grass and Forbes field so that's right over in this direction so this is an ideal spot and you see we're getting plenty of Sun so I'm going to put that other bee trap over here and see how it does. Stay tuned. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.